Hey, how's it going, folks? Uh, good, uh, good morning to some of you. It's a little bit after 12, one, almost 1 o'clock morning, but, you know, um, happy Sunday for whoever sees this video. Um, today I'm doing another video uh, to showcase uh, some of the things that I've been receiving uh, through eBay that I bought, and some went to a different store called Big Back Toy Store, and also got a few things from a vintage store uh today or oh, actually yesterday um so i'm gonna show some of the stuff that i got and i hope you enjoy this bit this video you know, always remember uh subscribe and press like uh we always and put your comments uh we're always glad to hear from you and respect your respect your opinions on whatever you see so let's start off with this particular figure i got yesterday this is a, a batman the animated series uh, penguin uh, basically it was not complete because I think it's missing uh, his um, classic um, umbrella but you can, you can see the hands like the motion where he's supposed to be holding it for his, with this particular hand but we got that yesterday at the vintage store um, then from uh, several things that I got from Big Back Toy Store here we have the just a Supergirl uh, version from the Flash movie that's coming up soon. So this is the uh, the Supergirl version. I only got this figure from the set because basically um, all the stuff that they were selling that's selling right now. Um, I usually have in other versions. I got a Batman from a Ben Affleck Batman, Mike Keaton Batman. I also have already had Esther Miller, a Flash. So basically, I would just needed her. Um, that was the only figure that I really needed. Because uh, everything else that's being sold, um, I already have in the previous version. I uh, also here I have a uh, almost a 12 inch uh, D Space Nine. No, this is a, a Voyager uh, Seven and Nine from the show. So we have a uh, um, uh, action figure. So. Nice figure, it's about you know, probably about I think it's like six nine inches, I think it is. Yeah, so I got her. So, um, nice figure. Um, uh, also from uh, Big Back Toy Store, I got some action figures from uh, Marvel Legends, and it basically related to the movie of the um, Ant Man and the Wasp that we just recently saw. So, this is the, the, the Wasp action figure. I was that it was part of the movie then we have Ant-Man himself so this is basically like a third version of the figure I got it two different versions that were previously done so I'm gonna check him out to see which is the better figure probably I'll, I'll keep the hip scope to try and change but I'm probably might sell the other ones uh, that way I don't have so many Ant Man and Wasp, and this is the uh, uh, Jonathan Major's character of uh, Kang the Conqueror that was part of the movie. So, this particular um, uh, series has you can build a, a Casey Lang action figure, which is about probably about 12 to 13 inches. But I'm not sure about the figure, but I, I'm making it because. Most of the you see it here in the back you see her it just brings her face and her mask and then with the mask on and without it. But uh, in terms of the figure, I really don't want to buy it like that because all the other action figures of the set are comic book versions, which I don't really care about. So hopefully, maybe on eBay I may be able to get the rest of the uh, the rest of the parts. So I got three there. So hopefully I can get uh, the, the remaining parts so I can make the Casey Lang um, figure later on. So my next figure is this. This is from the original um, uh, Amber Collection of um, Jurassic Park. Uh, this is the, from the first movie. This is the Samuel L. Jackson, John Raymond Arnold uh, action figure. Uh, I know he appeared in a few scenes in the movie. So they decided to do uh, um, 
Hey, action figure of him. So this is basically the what? Probably the third figure of Samuel L. Jackson because Marvel Legends uh, did Hasbro, actually not Marvel Legends, but Hasbro did two uh, versions of him. One from Ms. Marvel when he has like hair maybe before he lost his eye. And then you got the ones for the Avengers and all the different movies that was shown in um, uh, all the different movies like Captain America and the Iron Man. And that he appeared uh, with all with his hair and with a, a patch on his eye. So this is basically like a third uh, separate movie, but a, this is like his third action figure. Um, even the, if the two previous ones are the same character, but they look a little bit different. Next is, we're going to go with Star Wars. So, first of all, we're going to show this mini, this is a uh, Jawa uh, vehicle. So, this is like for, basically for the mini collection of Star Wars. So, this particular bit, I uh, think it has three, this opens up here, so I can get it open. Uh, okay. so, so, this opens up here and shows this. Then you got another side here. That opens opens up to also the side. There you go. You can see inside there. And finally the front here. There we go. So we can get also this here. So it has some few things inside. I'm not sure you can pull them out or not, but I think so. Yeah, so like mini. So yeah, so I got this also at the vintage store. Let's get to push it back. So not bad for five dollars, right? So this is my, uh, this is for Star Wars. And then I have this here. I have a six-inch, uh, uh, Chewbuc Im Imwi from uh, Rogue One, the movie. The reason I got this character is because of John Wick. Um, we hear the, uh, the actor, uh, Jimmy Yu, Jimmy Lu, uh, Danny Lu, I'm sorry, Danny Lu, uh, Yu, um, he's appearing in the, he's the villain of the movie, so what I'm going to try and do is, if I can, I'm going to try and move, remove his, uh, sculpted head, and, uh, put it on, uh, one of the, I got two, two John Wick's, uh, action figures, so I'm going to take one and I'm going to replace the head scope so that way I can have uh, two action figures uh, basically because um, when it comes to John Wick a lot of the action figures from uh, the previous movies have never been done and basically he out of the first three um, that he had really didn't have a major uh, a billion that he can face off so I guess um, they decided to do a figure of him a few companies have done that so we got that, so that's our intention with this particular figure. Um, then we have here another six inch figure. This is a uh, Star Wars Black Series uh, uh, from the Mo Man from Star Wars Mandalorian series. This is a, a Trapper, this is Trapper Wolf. He's supposed to be an X-Wing fighter. And the actor that plays the part is actually Dave Filoni, who, is actually, who happens to be one of the directors and executive producers of the last Star Wars uh, shows like The Mandalorian, uh, The Book of Boba Fett, um, and, so on the, and also part of the uh, Rogue One. So he's been like the second second hand to, to George Lucas before he even sold um, his uh, company to Disney. So this is his figure. So with this weight and this figure, I kind of like complete the three major um, people that are behind Star Wars, which is uh, George Lucas, uh, Dave Filoni, and also a uh, Faroo, uh, John Faroo, uh action figure. He actually has a Mandalorian suit on. Maybe later on in another video, I'll have all three of them so I can showcase them together. Um, so that will be my next intention. And then we got into a few Star Wars ventures. First of all, I have the Power of the Force um ev99 this uh robot appear in part of java the hut's uh um 
a layer part of the either one that actually when a new robot comes in and they're sent to Java, he's the one that like so like checks them out and keeps them in place that they actually obey uh, Java's orders at all times. So I think he has his scene's not that that long. So um, that's part of the uh, in, uh, when it comes to um, the movie. And this is this action figure I got it from uh, eBay. This is the Doopy McCool from the Max Rebo band. This, uh, if you ever seen Star Wars, you're gonna see the band playing in Jabba's uh, lair. So he's one of the, the characters he actually is missing uh, the instrument. Uh, to that, we have the Max Rebo band also. We got two of the characters here. So we got Sai uh, Snooty Snoodles. Uh, she's the singer that I mean, if anybody saw the movie, you know, like Star Wars, The Return of Jedi. She's the singer. And then you have uh, Jong Jung, Jung Sa. He's also one of the uh, band members in the in the in the movie. Uh, to that, you're gonna add also the other two members of the band. So for the this is actually Max Rebo. He's the leader of the band. And then you got Doda That's a strange name to say. <laughs> Let's just call him Do Doja. Let's just call him that because that name is like, wow. Talk about names. So, you know, uh, this is the back. You know, learn how to say that word. How to, that, that, that last name. And finally, I got this one also from the um, from the vintage store, and let me just take this off here. So this is uh, where we purchased this. Got it at uh, oh, the old store called um, KB Toys. It used to be around. That was the main competition for Toys of Us. Whoever said that those two uh, um, toy stores will go. Um, bankrupt you know you know at least here in the united states so this is the ctpo and uh one of the uh this is from the attack on the clones uh movie number two this is where uh ctpo gets his head uh like knocked out out of his body and it ends up being in one of the one of the droids and the droid's head end up in, in 3 dpos bo uh, body until the scene in, in the movie that where they're um, fighting um, a Jedi. So finally, I think it's uh, yeah, um, R2-D2 that comes in and actually does the replacement. That was the mount. So I saw this, so I just decided to get it. Um, there's some a lot of Star Wars uh, series that, that are out there that are basically... Are done with done with with almost Star Wars and a few in the in the nineties and two thousand that are really out there. Sometimes you gotta you get lucky you find some of these other characters. You think that there never is the action figure, but they are out there. So you just gotta like look and look. And sometimes when you find something you just gotta either go for it. So that will come something will complete the scene for you. If you wanna do scenes like for, for photography or video so it's always fun, nice to find something that you can build a scene together. So hopefully soon I, I'm going to have, uh, I order a set, it looks like for Star Wars, uh, three and three quarter inch, which I can build, make a, a scene with all the characters for uh, Jabba the Hutt, and even the scene for in uh, New Hope where you got the, the uh, inside the bar. So hopefully I can do all that and put some of the characters together and build some of the scenes together. So we'll see how that goes with that. When I do that, I'm going to actually do a video on that, how it goes. So I just want everybody to take care. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, press subscribe. If you like this, if this is the first time you've seen the video, subscribe. And also if you like it, press like. And leave your comments also. We always appreciate them. So you take care and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.